And also in the book of Enoch, I think, isn't there a section where Enoch is shown by an angel creation and there's also some time dilation? Of course, yeah. In uh, Enoch, which is nowadays uh, scholastically accepted as being only a later uh, written work and then backdated, uh, backwards attributed to uh, being pre-diluvial, uh, even theoretically before the beginning of Sumer and uh, Vedic civilization in uh, India. Uh, but um, Enoch was basically abducted by uh, aliens or, you know, whatever you would want to describe that uh, experience as being. Uh, it's very similar to the modern alien abduction scenarios uh, that we hear about nowadays. But uh, he was basically taken up in a dream by an archangel, uh, shown the the uh, calendar and the uh, rotations of the planet and everything like that from a, a distance above it and beyond it. And then when he came back down or when he awoke from his dream, so to speak, uh, he was uh, gifted with this enlightenment of uh, having had this vision and then he... Uh, prophesized it for a while and then uh, has an interesting has an interesting uh, way of passing from the earth himself either he died in a fire in a tomb that was buried uh, nine chambers deep in the earth or he uh, simply uh, walked with God and God took him and he was not 